Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a nozzle in a nice simple tutorial for beginners on Shaper 3D. Um, if you find this tutorial uh, helpful, uh, please do remember to hit that subscribe button. I've also got a few more Shaper 3D tutorials coming up in the future and I've also got a playlist of tutorials if you want to learn the software if you just look on my channel's main page. So just to get started, I'm currently looking in an isometric view. I've got right back top, if you look at the view cube, what I want to do is look at the front. So if I click this little corner here, and I've clicked the front. So now I'm on the front, just zoom out, zoom out a little bit, went the wrong way there. So now I've clicked the view cube to look at the front. What I want to do is start by creating a sketch. And I'm going to get a circle. I'm going to click on the origin and I'm going to make that circle 100mm in diameter and then just click. So now I've got a 100mm circle in diameter and if I go on the left hand side on the, on the sketch toolbar I'm going to click exit sketch and now I'm going to go back up to my view cube and, and click the top right hand corner to get an isometric view. But now, because I've exited the sketch, as you can see, I've got a circle on the front plane drawn on the origin. So if I click that again, exit it again, what will happen is it'll come up with these arrows. I'm going to move these arrows down. I'm going to move. So now I'm moving the sketch plane down. I'm going to move it 150. And then if I do the same again, go to the view cube, click front. I'm now looking at the front plane again. If I go to sketch, click diag uh, sorry, click rectangle, we just draw a rectangle within that circular profile. Just move it up. So 80 by 30, I'm, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Just lock it in there. So now if I go up to the left hand plane again and exit sketch and click the top right hand part of the view cube to get another isometric view. As you can see, I've got a square and a circle. And what I'm going to do is, if I go up to the tree, I'll just show you I've got two different sketch planes to work with there. So exit that sketch. And now if you go to Tools, and go to Loft, I want to loft these two geometries. So if I click both of them, what it'll do is start to loft them and merge the two shapes, but these points here are guidelines, so if you want to put a twist into your shape or into your nozzle, it's a good way of doing it, using the guidelines to customise the twist how you'd like. So now if I just zoom, zoom it around a little bit for you, you can see it has in fact got a twist now in the shape. But if you want if you want to edit these guidelines again, so I'll just spin it around so it's in the right orientation again and just zoom out for you so you can see a little bit better. If you want to reset these, for example, if you mess up your guide guide curves, and you can't and you want it to go back to how it was, all you need to do is deselect a sketch and click it again, and then it'll go back to default on how it was. So I'm gonna to stick to that and tick done. And then I'm going to just neaten up the edges by putting chamfers on my where my guide curves were. So let's go back around. And just, so all I'm doing is clicking the edge and pulling out, which creates a chamfer. I'm doing about 10 to 12 mil. So if, just so you can see a little bit better, I want to zoom in and so and then all I do is pull out. So now I'll do the same for the faces. So if I click just one of the faces and pull out, it should do them all, which it has done. So I'll do that a bit smaller, do that five mil. Then if I go round to the other side, I'll just use my view cube again bit speedier and do the exact same thing click the edge 
so I'll put I'll tell you I'll put a chamfer on it. Yeah, yeah, we'll put a chamfer on it, not a fillet. But that was too big, that's why it got denied, so let's just do it a bit smaller and let's do it fine now. Ten mil. So now as you can see, because I've moved the geometry, uh the circle and the sketch, what I'll do what I like to do is just go up to my tree, so that's the uh, sidebar, I'm just going to hide the sketches so I can see a bit clearly. So this little eye hides bodies and uh, shows bodies again, depending on what you're clicking on on the tree. So I've just hidden the two sketches. So I'll come out of that. So now to get this nozzle hollow, I'll go to Tools and click Show. So now you need to select, select the faces you'd like to remove. So because this is a nozzle and obviously uh, what you need to do is select the back face and then go around the front and select the front face as well. So let's just get it into a position so you can see it a little better. So because I've selected them now, it'll remove them two faces. If I pull up and give it a thickness, it's, it needs to be quite small because it's quite a complex jump. So we've got three. There you go. One seems to work just for this. But obviously you can tinker around with it, change the chamfer sizes and change everything you need to do to, to get the actual geometry you're after. But there you go. That is how you draw a nozzle in Shaper 3D. Or the best way I think to find it. It's quite a good little tutorial. If you found this little video helpful, um, please do subscribe to my channel. All support's appreciated. And thanks for watching.